everyone. If this is your first time here, my name is Adam D'Agostino, the peptide professor. Today we are going to discuss one of the most widely used peptides. In my opinion, it's one of the best and most effective peptides currently available. This peptide is actually one that I've used myself to help recover from injuries. The peptide is BPC-157. BPC-157 is a synthetic peptide chain comprised of 15 amino acids. It is derived from a sequence of body protection compound, BPC, found in human gastric juice. Its structural stability allows it to remain intact in various conditions. Studies have reported its influence on tissue repair processes in various animal models, including regenerative effects on tendon, ligament, muscle, and gastrointestinal tissues. BPC-157 appears to accelerate wound closure and improve healing quality. It may also promote granulation tissue formation, dermal remodeling, and collagen deposition, potentially through the upregulation of growth factors, such as vascular endothelial growth factor, also known as VEGF. If you watched my last video on TB500, you know that VEGF is important for wound healing and tissue repair, and is also a potent stimulator of angiogenesis. BPC has been reported to restore blood flow and enhance healing, possibly via interactions with the nitric oxide system. Evidence suggests BPC-157 can facilitate the healing of musculoskeletal soft tissues, which include tendon, ligament, and muscle. This is accomplished by promoting tendon outgrowth, cell survival under stress, and also cell migration. BPC may also upregulate growth hormone receptor expression in tendon fibroblasts, potentially enhancing the effects of growth hormone on cell proliferation and tissue repair. In research models of tendon injury, BPC has been associated with restoration of tissue structure and function, reducing inflammation, and prevention of muscle atrophy. BPC is thought to provide strong protection to both stomach cells and the endothelium. This dual action may help maintain GI mucosal integrity and support healing in various internal organs. BPC appears to activate blood vessels towards sites of injury or obstruction, potentially facilitating the reestablishment of blood flow and tissue repair. In animal models, BPC-157 has reportedly shown consistent protective effects against gastric and duodenal lesions induced by stress, cystamine, and ethanol, sometimes outperforming reference drugs such as H2 receptor antagonists and dopamine promoters. There is strong evidence that BPC may counteract the cytotoxic effects of NSAIDs, stabilizing intestinal permeability and reducing GI liver and brain toxicity in preclinical studies. BPC-157 is described as effective in healing various GI injuries, even when treatment is delayed, and may support recovery in conditions like short bowel syndrome. Another interesting point is that BPC-157 is one of the few peptides which can actually be taken orally and still be effective. Most peptides cannot survive in our gut, which is the reason they are typically administered via sub-Q injection. However, since BPC is derived from human gastric juice, it can survive and thrive in this environment. Next, we're going to discuss the dosing protocol. The recommended dosage for BPC-157 is 500 micrograms daily, injected subcutaneously or taken as an oral capsule. With either method, it should be done first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. As with any peptide, I always recommend to start low and go slow. The reason for doing this is to assess your tolerance to the peptide. While BPC has an excellent safety profile, it's always prudent to start low and go slow. In this case, you would start with half the recommended dosage, which would equate to 250 micrograms. 
Use this amount for your first two doses. If you feel good after that, go up to the full 500 microgram dose and stay there for the duration of the cycle. Generally speaking, you should use BPC-157 for a duration of about eight weeks and then take eight weeks off. This can vary depending on the severity of your injury or issue. If you see significant improvement after only a few weeks, you can certainly shorten the cycle down to about four to six weeks. However, if you have a more serious injury, such as a tendon, ligament, or muscle tear, you can extend your use of BPC to a maximum of about 12 weeks. But again, eight weeks seems to work well for most people. For reconstitution guidelines, you can watch my other video specifically about BPC reconstitution, or you can sign up for coaching. Research to date indicates that BPC-157 exhibits minimal to no side effects when administered at the dosage I just mentioned. As with any peptide, there's always the possibility of injection site reactions, such as mild pain, redness, minor swelling, or irritation. Typically, these are very minor and dissipate rather quickly. I personally have never experienced any negative side effects while using BPC, and none of my clients have either. As always, if you wanna know where I source my peptides from, you should sign up for the email list. This will also provide a plethora of great information which you can utilize on your health and wellness journey. I also highly recommend getting the Essential Peptide Guide, as well as the Peptides Reference Chart, and you can even sign up for coaching, which will actually include both of these documents at no extra cost. All of the links can be found in this video's description, as well as the channel's profile. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and supporting the channel, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks again.